Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus for September 10th through the 16th. I'm going to use this Vice Versa deck, and I this deck I basically go on my intuition. I don't go by any traditional meanings. I don't go by their book. I go by what I feel, okay? So this is for Taurus, September 10th through the 16th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because typically I focus on love as much as I can. Um, if Don't try to make the reading fit. If it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And bear with me as I'm tuning in to my intuition for this reading. <laughs> of course, the very first card is the tower. <sighs> opposition. You are being faced with some opposition. It's like whatever you were engaged in, or are engaged in. Never was really completed anyway. You know, it never... When you got engaged in it, it, it had some missing pieces. Okay, it had more missing pieces than you could... fulfill you know what I mean it wasn't it wasn't completed when it was made when whatever you were engaged in it wasn't it wasn't finished you know what I mean when you came into the picture it still wasn't done Therefore, it was never stable. You were dealing when you came into the picture. It was all. It was. It was already unstable. Really unstable. Therefore, when when lightning strikes, it crumbles easily. So this could be this could be you, or it could be the person that you were dealing with. It was like it was easy to crumble. You know, it didn't. It wasn't ever really that stable. Mm, the Empress. Beautiful. I love it. So, you know, this is you. Beautiful. At ease. You know what you're worth. And I feel as though something has crumbled. And you see this one's looking over here. This one has realized that this wasn't me. This wasn't anything that I did. This situation that I involved myself with was a mess before I even got involved. This one is dark. This one is light. It looks as though Taurus that you have endured a stressful situation and come out a better person. You've gained some experience from this disastrous situation that you involved yourself in. You have. Now, there's been a lot of growth, there's been a lot of healing, and it feels as though you are at a period of complete rebirth all right you're, you're looking beautiful you're feeling beautiful you're feeling comfortable ooh yeah 
You guys have a new opportunity. It's like what you've been waiting for is on the horizon. It's here because you realize your beauty. You realize that your experiences brought you to where you are today. I mean, that's what this is. I feel like, I mean, this is an angel. This is an angel. Is it Raphael or Gabriel? I'm not sure which one, but it's one. We've got two angels here. And both of them. I just named them both. But anyway, I feel as though you, there's, this is about love. You have a new opportunity for love. And this is with somebody that you don't expect. It's like you have evolved. You have come out of a mess, a disastrous situation. You have come out of a dark period. Your optimism, your inner beauty, your ability to allow this growth and accept is, is bringing you an unexpected opportunity. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, somebody is coming to your aid. This person is not your usual type. They may be of a different... Um, you know, they may be of a different culture than you. We have dark and white and dark and white here again. So I'm not sure, you know, if... Whoever is entering your life, life is, is, is of a different um, skin color, could be. Um, I feel this is that you are being given a new opportunity after you have endured quite a bit of pain. Because the Empress is it's about birth. And to get to that birth, you have to go through pain. So there's been a painful experience in which you have given birth. You've given birth to a new you. And because you're feeling very abundant with this new you, what you've been preparing yourself for, what you've been waiting for is now here. You've made the decision to love yourself through the pain. Now there's a new opportunity. That it is being given to you from above. Okay, It's something that you have patiently been waiting for. Okay, It's coming together. Somebody may be coming in to join forces with you. That's what this looks like with me, to me. Do you want it? This person is not your usual type, whether, whether they are of a different culture or not. This person is not your usual type. You both see things differently, but you will complement each other very, very well. There will be, you know, a lot of compromises that work out for the best between the two of you. It's beautiful, it really is. I just feel really, really, really good about this. I feel like because you have endured so much pain, the angels are bringing you a gift. They're bringing you a gift. A gift of love. This is gonna be a harmonious union It's beautiful. It's like, you deserve this. You deserve this. And you know, I noticed like this is yin and yang. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. The universe is bringing you a new soulmate connection. And you may not, you know, this person is seriously not your usual type, okay?
Interesting. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. This is giving me chills. Um, and there you are. There's an opportunity for abundance. There's an opportunity for security here. <laughs> Death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. Right under each other. I decided I'm to do them this way this time. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just taking my time. I'm taking my time with these readings. You know, your intuition has seen this coming for quite some time. It has, but I think that perhaps you may have um, gone within. You may have gone within for a period of time to do some healing work over this this uh, disastrous situation that you've been in. You've been searching for that missing piece. You have been searching for that missing missing piece. You may have gone through a period of repression and pain. This repression and pain has enlightened you. It has. And it has allowed you to go through this, this completion. There's been a completion of one cycle. And now there's a beginning of another one. Okay, death. This is death and this is rebirth. I mean, this is what this is. Through this death, there is the beginning of something new. So whatever has happened that has been a complete disaster has really served you very well. It really, really, really has. Because you have gained a lot of self-love, self-acceptance, and and self-respect from the situation. The pain has, has enlightened you to what you are worth. And now, now look at you. Now you are like, you're free. Now you're free. You're You're feeling comfortable in your own skin. You know, because your self-worth has, has come to like full climax if I can't explain it any better it's like you've gotten to a point of I really 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 know what I am worth this pain and suffering and repression has really opened your eyes to what you are worth okay and sometimes we have to go through hard situations to learn that major life lesson of self-worth so I feel like that's what this is. I think that, you know, you have grown into a, a person of having no shame. You know, I don't have I don't have nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of. You know, I think the old the old uh, views of yourself have died. So I feel as though because you have become the new you that you are today, there is something coming in. It's on the horizon that is much more fulfilling and compatible than you can even imagine. You've evolved into a completely different person, Taurus. And because you have reached that point of self-love, self-comfort. I mean, she's naked. She's dancing outside under the sun. She doesn't even care. That's the ultimate self-love. When you can show yourself to anybody and not care. about their judgment. I feel as though because you get to this point, there is a new opportunity for love that is being presented to you. It could come in very unexpectedly. 
This person is absolutely not who you think it is. It is not an X. It's not an X. The X is right here. Okay, just so y'all know. I don't want to confuse anybody. The ex is right here. The person that left you in a repression is over here. That dies, it ends. You find yourself again and this new opportunity is being presented to you. This person that's coming in is going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to be your missing piece that this other person was not. This person is the missing piece. And it could lead to happiness, engagement, marriage. And it could be with an Aries because I see this ram down here. Could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Scorpio. Could be Gemini. Could be a Sagittarius. We have Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. Now, you could even meet this person at a celebration. Okay? We have a celebration here. So if you haven't met this person yet, you may meet them at a celebration. Um, whoever this person is they are stable they are secure they um, they can grow anything they can they have ability to grow things with their touch you know <laughs> they they Whoever this person is, is a very hard worker. This person that is coming into your life is a very hard worker. And they're looking for a commitment. They are looking for a commitment. They want to come together with you. So I feel like this is a week of perhaps meeting a soulmate. Or coming together with a soulmate, Taurus. Something that you've been waiting for. You've earned it. The pain that you have gone through, the pain and suffering, has taught you what you're worth. That was a life lesson that is now, you can check it off your bucket list. And because you know what you're worth, it's like the universe is bringing you this stable, solid, abundant situation. With somebody that may be older than you, okay, somebody that is, this person may be a little bit older than you. But this person is very committed and is probably looking for marriage. That's what it looks like to me. I think this person is looking for marriage. Um, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. I love it a lot. Um, I've, I'm thinking that, you know, this there's an ending that you have allowed to happen. You have suffered through the pain. And now it's time for your reward. You are being brought a reward for all the suffering and the giving and the kindness that you have that you have put out there. Okay, you you have you have proven yourself. You have. There is rewards for kindness, and I feel like your reward is coming for the kindness that you have given out. And it's solid and it's stable. And whoever this person is, they can take care of you. They can take care of you. They will take care of you emotionally. It will be fun. They'll hold your hand. And they'll be able to take care of you financially. It will be mutual. You guys will complement each other very, very, very well. I think it could be a fire sign. I really do. Um, so anyway, this is just a mini read. I'm going to go, I'm going to do my regular spread. This is a mini read for Taurus 
for the 10th through the 16th. I just felt like doing it, so be prepared to unite with your soulmate because you've endured a lot of pain. You can meet this person in a celebration. Let's get one of these real quick. Go ahead. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Do it. Because it could lead to a soulmate connection. So that's just a little bit of advice. Talk to you later.